Howdy. So I did say I was going to explain this birth control situation. And the first time I tried to do this, it took too long to explain. So I'm going to truncate it. But pretty much, I have a deathly horrible fear slash aversion of being pregnant. Just me. I don't mind pregnant people. If you're pregnant, get your preggers on. But I don't really want to... I'm not about that life. So back in October, I was like, hey, doctor lady. Well, she's physician's assistant. But hey, doctor lady, can you make it so I don't get pregnant? Now, I was just going to have them tie my tubes just take the damn shit out if possible. Because I was like, I really don't want to... I'm not dealing with this right now. But, you know, she's like, I can get you an IED. Um, and I was like, that's the one where you got to go investigate and write. And she's like, yes. And I was like... Okay. And so then she comes back to me later and is like, I can give you the implant. And I was like, uh, explain. And she's like, basically, I'm going to cut a little chunk in your arm. Now you see these these little marks right here? That one right there is from when she, the first one was when she put it in. And the second one was when she had to get a scalpel and take it out. Ridiculous. So I was like, <laughs> I got more scars. Um, so she's just like, yeah, these things last like five years. No, three years. And I was like, Ugh, all right, well, it's good enough for now so she's like it'll help it's like um it's pretty much as effective as like an iud without me having to go all up in unnecessary places and i was like all right fine cool whatever um whatever so i go in in october and i go and i have it put in and i was like all right this is not too too bad fine right so then as within like a month and a half two months i started spotting again and i was like yo i have not had a period since i was um since about three, like, since I was at, like, three months. Like, my period's up around three months. So I was just like, uh, I'm gonna need you to fix this. And she's like, oh, no, it just causes random spotting. And I was like, random spot? What? So as I'm, I'm nearing my surgery date, I'm, like, having consistent spotting. And I was like, bitch, this is not random. Okay? Random implies a lot of things, and this is not it. I'm gonna need you to fix this, right? And so she was just like, uh, take some ibuprofen, and it'll help. And I was like, I hate you so much right now. I really do. But whatever. And so I go, I get my surgery done. And my period stopped for a little bit, and then I, I come back to Ithaca, and it starts up. Like, it's not a full-on period, it's like the spotting thing again. And so I go and I find her, and I was like, look, I'm gonna need you to fix this spotting thing, because this is driving me nuts. Like, I can't, I can't, I feel like I'm gonna be anemic, I'm gonna need you to deal with this. So she's like, it's just really the side effect. And she's like, and I can't tell if it's just the implant, or if it's also because you just had surgery, and you lost like nine pounds in three hours, and then, you know, your diet's just changed. And I was like, I don't give a damn what it is, but fix it, because I hate this. And so she's just like, okay, um, increase your T-dose, and we're going to give you 800 milligrams of ibuprofen uh, three times a day. Now, I don't know how to script for this, so I just had to buy so much dollar store ibuprofen and pop in them things. Like, I was a 1950s housewife on some Valium type bullshit. I was pretty annoyed. I was like, I swear to goodness, if I get addicted to this, or if I can never take ibuprofen without taking like a thousand milligrams, I was like 18, eight, I mean 800, three times, is that even recommended? That That's that's not okay, the bottle says. And she's like, you can take more than the recommended dose. And I was like, then why is there a recommended dose if you can take more than that? Shouldn't the recommended dose be higher? This apparently is, what? And she's just like, it's okay. And I was like, no, no, that's not okay. If I end up having to have a liver transplant because of this, I swear to goodness. And so <laughs> she's just like, you're funny. And I was like, oh, you're funny. <laughs> so you think I'm playing. So I end up taking this stuff, right? So I, I, um, I have my dose increased. The average dose for most guys is like 100 milligrams a week, which is 0.5 milliliters. My dose is increased to 0.75 milliliters, which is... Uh, 150 milligrams a week and that's a lot of that's a lot of hormone that's uh, I'll admit that is a lot of hormone so I got I was feeling weird around this whole little five month time frame I was feeling weird because it was like more tea but the implant deals with progesterone which is a form it's not really like estrogen but it's kind of in that same category so my poor body was so confused it had no idea what was going on it was not about this it was retaliating I was like I was so moody when you start tea it's like you know it's like hey little sex drive I'm gonna chill right here and you're starting tea and it's like oh snap we're gonna we're gonna be Mount Everest we're gonna climb to the top of all the things and I get this implant and it's like I don't know how I feel about this I'm, I'm gonna be excited today and then I don't want to be bothered for the next three weeks and then I want to have all of the things and I was like no, and then I increased my dose again, and then it, like, when I increased my dose, it went up, and then my sex drive just dropped, and I was just like, I don't care, this is not the Griffin, I need you to fucking fix this shit right now, I'm like, so damn confused, and so she was just like, did you compare this to a roller coaster? I was like, yes, I did, this is my life right now, fix it, I can't, and so she's like, take this ibuprofen, and I was like, I hate you so much right now. 
So I'm popping all these pills, right? I get I'm, I get good enough to be able to go home and spend a wonderful time with my boyfriend over spring break. And I was just like, I told her, I was like, now, you know, normally I try not to say crazy things over the phone. And I try not to say crazy things to you in person because I say crazy things all the time for anyone who knows me. But I was like, look, regardless of whether I will or will not be getting any sort of sexy time, I feel like it is my God-given right in this country to have the opportunity to get sexy time without having to fly some kind of red-winged airplane or some kind of really weird bullshit, okay? He is not Moses. This is not the Red Sea. We are not doing this, okay? I'm just letting you know I need to have the option for this. And if this this, this implant thing is going to prevent that, we're going to have an issue. We're going to have an issue because I'm not about to sit here and have to, like, guesstimate, like, pull out a Ouija board to figure out when the fuck this damn period's gonna come. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond this. Like, this is not what I signed up for. And so I called her, and I was like, fuck it, take it out. Take, take, take the implant out. Take, take it out, I cannot. And she was just like, are you sure? And I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't even care. I was like, you know what, quite frankly, at this point, I'd rather the stork bring me a baby, or I'd be forced to be an incubator for the rest of my life and deal with this bullshit. I am not even dealing with this, okay? I'm just done. I'm, I'm done, I'm done, it's not gonna happen. So... I you know, I go to spring break, I come back, I'm a bit, how the implant taken out? It's great, fine, cool, right? So I'm, like, she told me, you know, the bleeding should stop in a week. If it doesn't, call me in a week. And I was like, why did you say if it doesn't? Man, now, nah, it's not gonna stop in a week. I was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a try, but I swear to goodness it's not gonna stop. And I was right. Three days later, it was a full-on Niagara Falls flooding. I was so damn pissed. I was like, ooh, you better pray this shit goes away by Monday. Came a week later, still going strong. I was like, what? kind of Michael Phelps period is this? I was so angry. So I called her. I was like, can you fix this? I'm gonna need you to fix this. I don't care what you have to do. Just take it out. Fix it. And she's like, give it a couple of days. And I was like, you told me give it a week. And it came back with a vengeance. I don't know what kind of game you're pulling, but I don't like it. And so I had to, like, more ibuprofen and I had to re-increase my dose. I increased my dose to, I went, I went from, um, a 0.5 is like 0.75 and that was way too much so I went back to 0.5 it made the spotting worse beforehand and then it was not helping at the bleeding which could not even combat with the bleeding so now I'm at 0.6 uh 0.6 milliliters which I did not do the conversion for that which is like somewhere in like the 115 120 range I think um I think it's like 120 um yeah it's like 120 so I take like 120 ish milliliters a week kind of something around that um I think so I'm not doing the math on that. I got a slight headache. So I was like, fine, cool. I'm gonna do this, whatever. And so it was just the most craziest thing. And then only to realize after talking to someone here who actually asked another doctor who actually works with trans clients, who's actually a doctor, um, <laughs> that progesterone um, tends to do the intense spotting. And like, that's just natural. And she said, she's like, honestly, you really are, she's, there, there's some tests that you can actually run. And it's like, like being on T is not a surefire guarantee that you're not going to get pregnant, but it's going to make it pretty doggone difficult in most cases, depending on if your, your blood level for this specific hormones at a certain level, but they don't do the, that test there. So I was like, I've never would have known. Um, she's like, but honestly, what, what's probably end up happening is she's like that birth control implant kind of stunted your changes for a minute she says so you're gonna have to kind of restart a little bit when you go back into your transition you have to like you know your period amounts gonna you know like the the cramping because my body's trying to readjust so it's like the first three months when you start first three to four months when you're starting and your period's like i don't know if i should be here if i should go i don't know if you do you want me here anymore um and then the moment i took the implant out like my in the last month like i'm getting more body hair or like my libido's stronger or um my voice feels different like you know other changes like my back itches so doggone much like you know like there's just you know the acne got worse it got significantly worse the moment like once i got the implant out after i finished like the first period like my acne has been going crazy so um i was like you know what i'm pretty sure i just pretty much started my changes back up so i'm like going through period like my uh what do you call it puberty a third time you know because i'm lucky like that i'm just gonna go through puberty a third time like hey puberty i i missed you uh so yeah that's that's my experience because you know crazy things always happen to me um yeah so if you ever consider because you also have a deathly fear of getting pregnant go with an iud and people say just use condoms and i was like them shits break and don't lie just just don't lie Okay, there are people out here who will honestly tell you 
that there's a difference between most of the time, not always, between bareback and condom sex. And some people out there do not wear condoms. There's no choice in it. It's just who they are. Don't judge them. But if you're going to be a trans dude and you don't roll with condoms for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? Hey, do you, bro. Get an IUD, though. And um, just to pray to somebody because this this is not okay uh, this this trend this this weird hormone thing if it works for you then it works for you then go for it everyone gets affected differently by implants but in my experience i was like fuck this noise <laughs> we're gonna have to do some voodoo type bullshit in the weird strange case that i got pregnant trust and believe i ain't gonna get pregnant though because if i did then that that child would definitely have to be the son of some kind of god because it would be an immaculate conception um you know, just throwing it out there, but like, trust me, it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, no, that's, that's my fun story. That's my fun story for the week. And this video is still going to be long because it's always, but, uh, yeah. So uh, you guys have fun. <laughs> I'm going to go be a spaz now. <laughs>